it's Lindsay. I'm back with another video and for this week I'm doing something very impromptu, very on the spot. I'm in my pajamas. I have no makeup on and my hair's in this crazy bun. The air conditioner's going. It's just, it's, it's one of those videos. But I asked you guys on Instagram a couple days ago to ask me questions and I would answer them while baking. But I am a diabetes based channel and I need to change my pump site because I have eight units left in my cartridge and I'm currently 315. So I thought that I would answer your all's questions while changing my pump site and that it would be a good time. So if you guys want to be a part of the next Q&A that I do, make sure you follow me on my Instagram. It's always linked in the description and I will have it on the screen right here for you guys in case you wanna follow me. I post on there pretty regularly. So yeah, with all that being said, let's just jump into the video and get started. This is a very casual video, um, but I'm going to start with some questions. Um, the first question that I have is, what is your favorite um, of your externship? I think you mean like, what is my favorite clinical site that I've done? And honestly, peds and OB, even though we didn't really get to do very many on-site clinicals, I wanna be a peds nurse. So that's something I'm super interested in and I think it would be really fun. Um, and then the same person asked, how often do you see Justin and how long have you been together? Um, watched so long I forgot. So I've seen Justin a lot more the end of last year and the beginning of this year. We're both fully vaccinated. He works in a nursing home. I'm a nursing student. Um, so he and I are both vaccinated. So I see him, I like to see him once a week. I just moved back, if you can't tell the background's different. So that's probably gonna change, but I am going home this weekend because his mom is coming to visit. So if I am like home where I'm from, then once or twice a week when I'm here, once a week, once every few weeks. And we have been together for almost four years. The next question is, do you think Control IQ has helped your levels? Yes and no. Um, I do, I have noticed a decrease in my average blood sugars and I'm in range more than I'm high, but I'm still high more than I want to be. Um, but I think that a lot of that is also like because of stress from school and just everything going on with the world. I've just been like really stressed in my mom's car wreck and everything like that. I've just been super, super stressed. Um, so, yeah, um, it's helped for sure, um, keep me in range more, but I'm still having some highs. If you're thinking about switching, I definitely recommend switching. I love Control IQ. I love that it'll suspend insulin if I'm going high or, or, It'll suspend insulin if I'm going low and it'll give insulin if I'm going high. I really, really like that. I think that's really helpful. I'm still learning the quirks of it. I've had it since December, so it's been four months. So, five almost. But yeah, I'm trying really, really hard to get my blood sugar and better check. It's hard. It's very hard. And Hannah also asked, how are you doing mentally with nursing school? It wasn't great last quarter, not gonna lie. I failed my class, so I'm repeating it this quarter. Um, last quarter, I was just mentally exhausted, and I just, like, my head wasn't in it. I just, I was burned out. Um, and I wasn't the only one. A lot of people I go to school with didn't do very well, even if they did pass. So that is, that makes me feel a little bit better, but I mean, I'm doing as well as I can. It's hard and it's really hard to do it during a pandemic. And I never thought that those would be words I've, I would say, but it is what it is. One day at a time, God's got a plan for me. If it was for me to stay back a quarter and retake this class, fine with that. I still graduate by the end of the year if everything goes well, fingers crossed. Um, but I already feel better about this quarter. 
Heather says, do you always carry supplies with you? If so, what do you carry? Um, yes, I always carry supplies with me. So in my diabetes bag, and I have a video of that, I can link it in the eye over here. Um, in my diabetes bag, I have a sight change, alcohol wipes, a syringe in case I need to draw insulin out of my cartridge for any reason. Um, I have a meter, test strips, a uh, lancet device, a lancing device, a finger poker, and snacks. I always have snacks. Um, and then Evan asks, what pump do you recommend and like? So I've only ever used two pumps. I currently use the T-Slim X2 and I love it. This is my second T-Slim. I had the original T-Slim and then I got this one. And then the only other pump that I've used was the One Touch Animus Ping. Um, I really recommend the, the, the T-Slim. I have a video talking about five of my favorite things about the T-Slim. I will link that in the eye right over here as well if you guys are interested, but recommend the T-Slim. This guy's great. I love that it's rechargeable and it's very, very sleek. My cousin asks, am I your favorite? Yes, I love you. Love you, Hagen. Hagen was in a vlog. We went to the zoo together. If you guys want to watch that video, it'll also be in the eye right over here. My last question, which is perfect timing because I'm about to prime my tubing, is from Krista, and she asked, how is your sugar? My sugar's all right. As I kind of talked about earlier, it's not been the best, but I'm working on it. I'm not perfect, no one's perfect. Diabetes is constantly changing, so there's no constant in it. I gotta take it a day at a time, as long as I know I'm trying my best, that's all I can ask for, that's all my family can ask for, and I know that God's in it, and that I will be okay at the very end of it all. So. Good thing that was on carpet.